Hello, hello. This video today is gonna talk about abnormal GVP, and the video is divided into two parts. The first is raised GVP, and the second is abnormal GVP waveforms. So before we get started, I want you to remember that when patient reclining at 45 degrees, the pose is higher than three or four centimeters from the sternal angle. It's considered to be an elevated GVP. Okay, so let's move to the first one, raised GVP. There are a lot of conditions associated with GVP raised. Heart failure, volume overload, cardiac terminate, or pulmonary hypertension. So what about its mechanism? In patients with heart failure, peripheral veins are constricted by swelling tissue and sympathetic stimulation. So it causes a large amount of blood back to the central venous system, increases the GVP. Volume overload. What the preload and afterload are? Preload, also known as the left ventricular and diastolic pressure. Some people remember this by using an analogy of a balloon. Blow air into the balloon and it stretches. The more air you blow in, the greater the stretch. Afterload, also known as the systemic vascular resistance is the amount of resistance the heart must overcome to open the aortic valve and push the blood volume out into the systemic circulation. If you think about a balloon analogy, afterload is represented by the knot at the end of the balloon. To get the air out, the balloon must work against that knot. Increasing preload due to hyperthyroidism, valve regurgitation, or increasing afterload due to hypertension, or valve stenosis, it will increase the volume and pressure of ventricular systolic and ventricular diastolic, and also transmitted back off to the jugular vein, increases GVP. Right ventricular diastolic failure in cardiac terminate. Normally, there is a little fluid between parietal and visceral pericardium for lubrication. When the fluid is greater than 50 cubic centimeters, it causes a terminate. Size of classical cardiac terminate include three sides, known as back striate. Narrow pulse pressure occurs because of decreased draw volume, jugular venous distension due to impaired venous return to the heart, and faint heart sounds due to fluid buildup inside the pericardium. This buildup fluid resists right ventricle compliance in diastole. The blood cannot go to the right ventricle, will be transmitted back to the right atrium, and increases GVP. Compression or infiltration. Compression of the superior vena cava or internal jugular vein by any mass will cause a raised jugular venous pressure. Okay, we just ended up part one, so let's move to the next one, abnormal GVP waveforms. A cannon, more common in atrial ventricular dissociation and complete heart block. Normally, tricuspid valve opens and atrial contraction forces 30 amount of blood into the right ventricle. Then, ventricle systole occurs and the tricuspid valve close again. When the time between atrial contraction and ventricular relaxation is shorter, the atrium contracts strongly against a closed tricuspid valve, increases GVP, so we have a cannon. Large V way more common in tricuspid regurgitation, pulmonary hypertension. V is short for venous return to the right atrium, increased right atrial blood pressure due to regurgitant flow from the right ventricle during systole, leads to increased right atrial pressure, then transmitted up into the jugular vein, leading to a large V wave. Patients with palpable and prominent systolic pulsations of both external and jugular veins, known as CV waves or a Lanchisi sign. X descent absent. Tricuspid regurgitation also causes X descent absent. Another condition is atrial fibrillation. So X is short for downward movement of tricuspid valve with right ventricular contraction. In these two conditions, the movement of tricuspid valve is resisted by regurgitant volume and poor right ventricular contraction. As you see, the picture in the lab shows you the echocardiography with color doubler. You can see that there are color signals of tricuspid regurgitation. 
Why is sand absent? Most common in cardiac tamponade. Why is short for emptying of atrium with tricuspid valve opening? In cardiac tamponade, pressure from pericardial fluid surrounding the heart will impede filling of the ventricle during diastole and then decreases the wide descent. Cosmo sign is thought to be caused by the combination of increased venous return and constricted right ventricle. Normally, in inspiration, the negative intrathoracic pressure will draw venous blood back towards the thorax, and contraction of diaphragm increases abdominal pressure and further increases venous return. With constricted right ventricle, blood cannot go into right ventricle, then backs up into distended neck veins. Cosmosine may be present in less than 40% of constricted pericarditis cases, however, its specificity for an underlying pathology is very high. Okay, that is the end of the part 2 video about GVP. Thank you for listening.